Oh hey the lads, my name is Lassie, and as you can see on screen, Battlefield Direct Communication has finally said something about the next update for Battlefield 2042. I haven't read any of these tweets yet, but I do know a scoreboard is coming, and I believe the update is arriving to all platforms tomorrow. But let's read down through this together and see what exactly is happening. I've seen a glimpse of the scoreboard, and I have to say it looks pretty good, though there's some controversy around it as you'd expect. So let's dive into these tweets. If you go on to enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more. Let's get into it. So let's talk about the next set of updates coming to Battlefield 2042 and what to expect in the coming weeks. Here's a thread with news on upcoming patches, patches, which is nice because I still don't know how uh, invested I am in this and how invested EA are in this game. So it's a bit iffy there. Uh, Portal XP changes that were hinted at last week and updates on requested features like scoreboard and cross-platform VoIP. Nice, that's a good start. I mean, they're definitely things the community <laughs> mocked as uh, legacy features and EA mocked as legacy features, so it's good to see them kind of uh, breaking their way back into the game because they're not legacy features, they're just a given. Uh, update 3.2, okay. Scheduled to go live tomorrow, this update delivers a handful of small fixes and improvements to the game focused around stability. We'll have the complete set of update notes available to browse this evening. Okay, cool, so uh, probably two videos today. <laughs> update 3.3, okay, this is the next one then. So the update 3.2 is only a small one going live, uh, probably addressing some of the smaller issues and blah, 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 stability stuff. Okay, that's good because the game runs, for me personally, a lot better than it did at launch, but it still has a long way to go frame drops, server stability, all that sort of stuff. The more work all of that gets, it's just more quality of life updates, which is always nice to see. But update 3.3, our next update after 3.2, arrives in mid to late February and features a refreshed scoreboard alongside further changes that have been in the works since we returned after the holidays. Okay, so not a whole lot of information on 3.3, uh, update 3.3, but that's coming in mid to late February, so a little while away, uh, probably about a month from now, okay. Scoreboard refresh. In update 3.3, we will refresh our existing scoreboard UI with a new panel that showcases how players are stacking up across the server. Here's your first look at our work in progress. Okay, let's have a look at this then. Um, can I open this in a new a new thingy? There we go. Beautiful. Okay, look, well, I mean, that's leaps and bounds better than what's already. So for those of you who don't know, maybe you haven't played Battlefield 2042 yet. Right now, the current scoreboard, or scoreboard if you can call it that, is essentially this. This left panel here is all we have, essentially. You, you track your ribbons and whatever, and your kills, assists, and deaths. For, for you, it's personal. Your player card, and then the game mode stuff. This is obviously a Conquest Large. It says it there. What has been lacking, and has been a staple in pretty much every FPS game since the beginning of time, <laughs> is the actual scoreboard part that lists all the players in the server, and yeah, this is an interesting way of doing it. So they have 1 to 19 and then 37 to 43, 97 and 128. I assume it's going to be the full list of players and then it'll be scrollable maybe on, on, on your mouse at least. I don't know how that's going to work on controller. But I remember in the Battlefield 4 days, uh, the scoreboard actually cut off. Like if you weren't in the top half of the scoreboard, you didn't see yourself in the scoreboard. It was very strange. Maybe that's what they're going to do. I hope they just do like a scroll sort of thing. I don't know how that'll work on console. Maybe you lads can tell me how that was done in the past. So we got a player and AI list. I mean, you could just hide the AI, surely. Uh, that would free up space on the scoreboard. A uh, tally scoreboard, so you got your score. Pretty interesting, actually, because there isn't really a score in Battlefield 2042 so far. That's one of the big things that's missing. Like, if you actually deep dive into what's currently there, it's kills, assists, and deaths, and captures but there's no specific score, so I wonder how they're going to work that in. Yeah, that'd be interesting, because you don't really get a lot of XP for doing a lot of the things you did get XP for in previous games. A lot of There were a lot of specific assists in the old games, like even Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, like you got a kill at a certain distance. Like if you got a headshot at a certain distance with a sniper rifle, you got extra points for that. Whereas that stuff isn't in 2042, so I don't know how that's going to be tallied up here. Uh, then we have kills, assists, revives, captures, and defenses. Now, one of the things I've been seeing is, oh, there's no deaths. There isn't, but it's 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 there. I mean, you have your personal deaths, and really, do you need to know how many times Pommy has died? You know, does that really matter? You can always ask him in chat. I don't think that's the biggest deal. Um, to me, this scoreboard looks fine. 
um, it's nice and clean. It's fresh. Got the design language of the rest of the game, which is cool. I've seen really good community mockups that I won't lie are as good, if not better than this, <laughs> if I'm totally honest. I don't think a lot of this is necessary because it's already on screen as you're playing maybe just this bit to be honest and just pausing the game could show you the ribbons like it always did in the old games but it look it's all here it's all in one big panel it still looks fine it's better than what we have and i'm happy to see it uh, maybe just i don't know throw in the debts of all the players to keep some people happy for me personally i couldn't care less how many debts someone else has but yeah it's pretty cool yeah i i assume you could probably go in and see squads somewhere maybe they got they got rid of the squad section all right moving on scoreboard will receive further updates beyond this refresh this isn't a one and done deal for us so there you go if we if it's deployed into the game and we really really want like the deaths counter um i'm sure they could add it further down the line expect us to iterate on this further once it's live in game and we will look forward to your feedback once this new scoreboard goes live in february Pretty cool. Matchmaking preferences in All Out Warfare and All Platform VoIP. These are both still on our radar. No updates on these two today, but we wanted to reassure you all that these are still front of mind and we'll have more to show and share on these topics further down the line. So what are they talking about? Matchmaking preferences in All Out Warfare and All Platform VoIP. So All Platform VoIP we knew wasn't going to be here at launch. They told us that months ago. Matchmaking preferences in All Out Warfare. What exactly does that mean? Is it the case of like getting the same map? every time and persistent servers and that whole tobacco hopefully that's what they're going to address because there's so many times where i just match make and i'm constantly put into the same maps over and over and over sometimes i leave a server i join a different server and it ends up throwing me back into the server i just left it's it's so annoying so maybe that's what they're addressing there is one simple fix called a server browser you had it in your games for years just just bring that back it's already in portal you're nearly there xp in portal further to the changes made at the end of last year we've got more changes set to go live with update 3.2 tomorrow that will enable more servers and game types to progress on mastery and weekly missions i'm just cutting in on myself i just have to add this little bit because as i was editing this video Battlefield Direct Communication made another post, this time all about XP and Portal, so we'll just fly through it really quickly. Alongside Update 3.2, we're making further improvements and adjustments to how you earn XP when ba playing Battlefield Portal. Here's a new thread with all the details. Uh, tomorrow, we're increasing the per minute XP cap across all Battlefield Portal modes to 300. Okay, so you can earn 300 XP per minute. Obtaining XP usually comes in bursts, and our intent for this change is to reduce the frequency of XP bursts being capped during gameplay. Okay, so reduce the frequency of XP bursts being capped, so essentially it just means earn more XP. We're also changing how you'll progress mastery and weekly missions between created experience types. What you can earn in each experience will now be determined by which modifiers you use, and whether the rules editor damage, health modifiers, or AI are enabled. Okay, we'll come back to that in a sec. Further improvements are planned for a future update such as a UI indicator showing if a created mode will have progression restrictions. We'll let you know when they're ready to go. These changes go live tomorrow with update 3.2 and update notes will be available later today if you're looking for more information. Okay, cool. So let's open this then. I've just realized I'm not in full screen. There we go. Bit better for you lads. So low res image, love it. <laughs> so featured experiences, so you know, the new Squid Game mode or Rush or Rush of the Ages, that's a full uh, official mode put out by Ripple Effect. So you get full player XP, mastery XP, ribbon XP, and you can do weekly missions in there. Then moderate, custom experiences using all modifiers except rules editor, AI, or damage health. Okay, cool. Player XP, uh, 3000 XP per minute cap or 300 XP per minute cap, and then up to mastery rank 12, I think. Okay, no progress available for ribbons, but you can still do the weekly missions. And then the restricted servers, custom experience is using rules editor, AI, or damage health. Player XP is still allowed, okay, but nothing else. That's, I think that's a fair enough way of doing it. I think the main way people were boosting on Portal was by using bots. So yeah, it makes sense that having an AI enabled or having the damage or health modifiers changed in some way it limits your uh, xp gain so yeah that's pretty cool all right back to the other stuff game performance our teams continue to analyze the data available to us and develop further optimizations that enable the game to make best use of your hardware in every update we'll be delivering changes big and small that aim to tackle the issues and improve your experience lovely happy new year we're hard at work now that we're back we hope you're all well safe and healthy stay tuned to us for more updates and we'll see you on the battle. Please ignore the man babies throwing insults, but yeah, deaths would obviously be great. Yeah, it seems like it seems like a lot of people are um going on about debts. Again, I think it's I think it's fair enough to 
to criticize and be like, yeah, let's just put debts on it because it is a scoreboard. But at the same time, I don't really see the need to have team debts. Um, but again, please, if I'm missing something, please point it out in the comments. You have your personal debts, you have your tickets. So it's not like you need to add up all the team's debts to know how well you're doing in the game because you have the ticket count. You know how well you're doing in the game. Um, maybe the end of round screen scoreboard could be show the debts. I don't know. I don't know. If it's an easy option, just swap out defenses for debts. I can't imagine it's a very hard thing to do. I, d I can't imagine. Like, the design is there. It's it's just... Boop, <laughs> just drop it in, Izzy. Right? You just press the debts button. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm happy to see a scoreboard. Not a major update. Some fixes and stuff coming tomorrow, which is cool. Uh, quality of life stuff, as I mentioned. Um, nothing in the way of content so far. But um, maybe that'll come further down the line. Hopefully they don't leave us waiting too long. From the looks of it, 3.2 is tomorrow, 3.3 is February. I'm a guess 3.4 will be in March and maybe that's the update that's going to deliver season one of the Battle Pass as hinted at by the data mining that was done, saying that the content won't actually start until March. I really hoped it would start sooner because the game has less than 10,000 players here on PC already. I don't know what it's going to be like in two months time. So I really thought they'd get content out to us sooner than this and they wouldn't be addressing the most basic things in any first person shooter. A scoreboard shouldn't be something to be celebrated, but in this case, I am happy to see it. Let me know what you think of all of this down below in the comments. I'll probably have a second video go live this evening going through the patch notes about tomorrow or that could come tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, like I said before, leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. That would be amazing. Until the next one though. I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.